welcome to Delicious Day with Ara. Today we're gonna make Bu Sengche. To subscribe and like! So Bu Sengche is basically um, kind of a salad or also a type of a kimchi depending on how you want to see it as. For something that we're going to go in very mabilis and we can be served right away. A perfect complement for any kinds of rice dishes or even also as a partner for any pork dishes in Korea. That's how we eat it. Napakadali lang gawin. What we really need is like radish. A white radish like this, and chili powder, sugar, um, vinegar, toyo, and patis. And of course, some um, onions or leeks. And some people also, also add garlic. But for today, I'm not gonna use garlic. Gagamitin ko lang talaga is our leeks and our radish. So now let's start making our buseng che. Stay tuned! So this is a great side dish or panchan for your visitors. So if you have somebody coming in for dinner, you can actually already prepare it siguro mga one or two hours ahead. And parang napaka fermented taste na ang labas niya. And very authentic as well. So first, what we just want to do is we want to cut off our radish na maninipis na parang strips lang. So I'm gonna first peel it off and then we should chop natin ng, is slice natin siya ng maninipis. So ngayon na balatan ko na yung aking radish. If you have a slicer like this, it makes our life easier. Kasi like somebody like me, honestly, hindi ako magaling mag-chop ng matagal. Or hindi ako magaling mabilis mag-chop. So I always use a slicer as a cheater. But if wala kayong slicer or you want really like handmade, it's also fine. So just have to do slice ng maninipis and parang stripes siya na, parang bite size na. So what I wanna have is like this. It's really up to you. Pero wag masyado, maninip wag masyado maliliit. Pang chapche kind of slice na maninipis lang. So as you can see, don't want it very thin kasi mag-ferment siya. And pag mag-ferment na masyado maninipis, it will be parang masyado siyang magiging fragile. But we still want to retain the crunchiness of it. So I have here strips. It's super masarap. So this is my shredded um, radish. As you can see, the length is around like, you know, ganito lang kahapa. Um, and kakapal. As long as it's not like super super manipis, okay lang siya. Um, some people actually prefer it na medyo flat na medyo matataba. It's fine. It's really up to you. Now from here, uh, we're gonna make our buseng che. Uh, because we need to have our, we need, it's best to use our hands. Always they say like, you know, something na may kamay daw is always better. I don't know why, but it always does. So now I, I suggest that you always wear plastic gloves kasi yung chili powder mahang siya sa mga ating mga fingers. Now here, it's super easy. All you just have to remember is this is my five main ingredients which is my chili powder, my sugar, my vinegar, toyo, and patis. So, ang dali na talaga yung ratio niya. Five, four, three, two, one, pababa. But, before I start off, I'm just gonna have a little bit of a parang isang sprinkle lang ng ating asin. But I'm not really gonna use my salt to taste it. So, just a sprinkle lang. Wala talaga siya sa measurement na yung kanina. And then, imamassage ko lang yung ating radish. So after around two sprinkles of my rock salt, you can see na medyo na lalanta na konti yung ating radish. We're gonna first add in five tablespoons of my chili powder. So this is the main five. Five. And then haluin natin siya ng haluin. So after one ingredient, I just want to mix, mix, and then parang coat up evenly. Now, when you're mixing it, you feel it medyo parang the more you mix, the more makakaroon din ang medyo magiging sabaw-sabaw on the bottom because the water from the radish ay lumalabas and you can see the beautiful color of parang nagbimelt yung ating chili powder. So, as long as it's evenly coated, now I'm gonna add in my sugar. So, this is four. So, five, four. Always just remember the ratio. You can use actually brown or white or washed, whatever you have. And then again, we're gonna evenly coat it. The reason why nang iniisay ko talaga yung mga ingredients is because on this process, pinang parang lumalambot na yung ating radish, and it will give you had ng flavor talaga na inaad natin. Parang it will give an extra coating of it, and it's just different pag isinas sa paisa pa yata lahat ng ating mga um, ingredients sa kailangan. And as you mix, mararam daman yun na medyo parang nato soft na yung ating mga radish. And after my sugar, I'm gonna add in my three tablespoon of my vinegar. Three. 
For this vinegar, I don't recommend apple cider because the apple cider has a distinctive layer and smell of the apple. So any kind of vinegar you have distilled or whatever you have is better. So mix again. So three, so five, four, three. Na tayo. Na yung pupunta tayo sa dalawa. We're gonna add in our toyo. Now for the soy sauce, do not add it sa center. Just put like siguro sa side. Now the saltiness of the toyo is a little bit different from what it gives na binibigay ng ating salt or pati. So I just want to have this layer of na medyo pagka saltiness nang galing sa toyo. And I coat natin siya ng evenly. And then lastly, of course, our patis. It's going to be around 5 4 3 2 1 na tayo. So one tablespoon of my patis. And you can see na kakaroon ng parang sabaw-sabaw sa ilalim. So actually, this is great. Parang don't throw this about though the saba or the sauce because parang when we eat it with the rice, it will really give an extra taste of it. Or bins na po add sa noodles if you want. So as simple as this, actually, tapos na yung ating buseng chip. But just a little bit of a color and a little bit of a layer of difference ng parang binibigay ng radish. I'm gonna add licks konti lang. So siguro around this much is fine. I chop ko lang siya na maninipis. So I'm gonna add in already again my leeks. And if the kain yun talaga siya agad, no need, you can add sesame oil like a drizzle on top. But kung gusto niya kain mga yun siguro after like a day, ilagay like, niya sa serif. I would recommend na not to put your sesame um, sesame oil. But I'm gonna add in some sesame seeds. So here I have my black sesame seed, but whatever you have the house can be the um, the traditional the yellow one. That's fine. And if this is already ready for serving now, then I would recommend to have sesame oil. Or if not, pwede kaya mag-add ng sesame oil every time you serve. A little bit lang. Just a drizzle. So mix it another, give another mix, coat it evenly. This is a great partner for rice. You can just actually have this an egg and buseng che and rice, or just even like um, Korean noodles, the um, chap the sumyang, and then just this one and a little bit of sesame oil. You already have it. Must try recipe. Tada! Here is my buseng che. Very simple. The best is really to keep like around few hours para lahat ng flavor niya lumabas. But as simple as this, you already have a one great side dish, but also could be a main dish depending on your preference to serve your visitors and your family as well. So hope you enjoy cooking with me. See you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you everyone. Bye bye.